when something happens, the body reacts first. Then the feelings come. And finally, the thinking. So if there's a loud explosion, the body will go, or whatever. Then the feeling will come, do I hide, do I run? And a panic. And then the thought comes, what shall I do? It seems that using the body is a way into everything else, which is what PEM does. I'm aware of more and more is that actors aren't connected to their bodies. You know, they go to gyms, they work out, their bodies are, you know, they're flexible, they can do acrobatics, but they're not in touch. There's something, and maybe it's a cultural thing, maybe it's a Western thing, maybe it's living in big cities. When we go out, we don't show anything. I don't know. But I've been doing a, a huge amount of work online during COVID, working with actors from, you know, Japanese actors, Indian actors, American actors, all sorts of European, lots of Australian actors, of course, from Melbourne. They all seem to have the same problem. They can't feel inside their body. That's why I love PEM. It's because you get the body going, which contains the emotions. And if you put your body into different conditions and shapes and positions, then you'll start to feel differently. I mean, you should be feeling differently all the time. Emotions are flowing. They're not blocks. They're shifting at every moment. Most actors, they look the same all the time. The body's not moving. They have no gestural range whatsoever. And I go to the theatre and I don't care because I don't believe them and they're boring. The audience is learn to accept what they're given and if the actor is charming enough or flashy enough or has a particular way of doing things the audience likes they're cute or they get away with it what would you say to actors why why they should do them they will have an emotional technique i thought it's actually learning another language for your body actors know i have to work on my body I have to work on my voice maybe on and analyzing text, but they none of the internal and the emotions are can be worked on and exercised so they are available to the actor. What I got from it that you go all through this work and then they have that capacity, they work on a character and they can place that feeling and it's available for them within the reality of the character. And it's truthful because in the moment they're using all of themselves truthfully, organically. Well, it's so understandable. You think, well, why isn't everybody working like this? Ideally, PEM, PEM should be part of every training curriculum. The level of acting would go up 100%.